Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a 14-year-old male who injured his knee playing football a couple of days ago. He's got knee pain and swelling, and we see here on this midline sagittal view one of his problems. So this is the femur coming down. The growth plate is right here, the physis or growth plate that looks normal. Down here we have the tibia, the growth plate looks normal, and the bone in front is the kneecap or the patella. Now normally the patella, the middle of it, will be right at the level of the growth plate here. Instead it's up high, so we have a high riding patella. And that's a pretty common anatomic variant where the patellar tendon here that comes off the bottom of the kneecap down to the tibia. This is developmentally elongated and this is high riding. And that will allow the patella to be hypermobile and prone to dislocate. Sometimes the patellar tendon is developmentally shortened and the kneecap will be way down here. That will cause abnormal stress. It can cause arthritis, but in this patient it's high riding. The patient also has another finding here. So if we look on an axial view in short axis, we see the kneecap. And the kneecap morphology is not quite normal. Normally it will have a more deep V-shape appearance. The patellar apex will be down lower and the outsides, the medial and lateral uh, facets will be up higher and it will look like a V. But instead this is relatively flat. So we call this a congenitally flat patella. And also, here this is the front of the femur. We should see a deep V, a corresponding V here. This is called the trochlear articular surface. And normally we have a deeper V of the trochlea and then that patella will sit right in that V for stability, but instead we have a, a developmentally shallow trochlear sulcus and a developmentally flat patella, so that kneecap is hypermobile, it's not sitting down in a nice trough. And also the patellar tendon being elongated allows the patella to be too high and just above this trochlea that's already too shallow. So this patient has dislocated, and we can tell that by right there. This is the smoke and gun picture. There's a foggy area of brightness here, and this is a bone contusion. So the patella has dislocated, impacted here, and came back to normal position. A little bit of edema here in the soft tissues. And so a case of a transient patellar dislocation, with a bone bruise over here in the lateral femur. Oftentimes they'll have a bone bruise on the medial part of the patella that it impacted here and came back. Sometimes they'll have a chondral injury, the articular cartilage, which is this gray area, will have a, a tear or contusion. But this patient does not. So this is a sagittal view, the same thing. We see the high riding patella, again, should be here. We see the developmentally elongated patellar tendon. And the bone bruise is right over here. Hard to see on this view, but we see a small articular defect. This is the articular surface along the far anterior margin, that bone injury wrapped all the way down to the far anterior margin of the articular surface here. So transient patellar dislocation related to a congenitally high riding patella and the shallow trochlear sulcus and the flat patella. Thank you very much.